called Revelations, you know what I'm saying? Revelations 12. Peace. Here we go. Another day from the deaths of Apocalypse. Dogs to God's entertainment. With a quick word of reflection, a quick word of inspiration, self analysis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to make that point. I always got to make that point so that whoever is watching this don't mistake and think that I'm talking to somebody else before I'm talking to myself because typically what I'm sharing is what I'm actually faced with. And the thing that I want to say today, <laughs> I was reflecting on an ayat in the Quran that says, you know, Allah will never change the condition of a people <laughs> until they change themselves. You know what I'm saying? Change is is it's a powerful word. Change is inevitable. Change. Uh, you know, Gil Skyan talked about change and you know and actually being conductors of the change instead of blowing with the wind, whatever wherever the wherever the wind blows. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Brother Raymond El Muhammad used to teach me that lesson all the time. You pick up a leaf and let it let it drop. And whatever, however the wind was blowing, that leaf will go in that direction. Bro, baby, but Mike, you don't want to be like that leaf, bro. Mike, know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that leaf gonna go wherever the wind blow. So anyway, <laughs> so and what has me uh, reflecting on this today is uh, we're 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 in a constant change in terms of uh, business. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay, let me let me let me paint the picture like this. See, in, a, in this book right here, Walking Road to Recovery, Nine Steps in Motion, we have a chapter called Process the Data, which deals with who, what, when, where, why, how. You know what I mean? Basically, of self. You know, it's like a, a self-analysis, critical thinking. Just go back in your life, see what took place, when, and how, and why, and all of these, all these different things, so that it can be processed. It can be laid out. You know on the timeline and, and, and seen for what it is versus it being something internally that's haunting and, t and attacking you and, and, and we not know what it is, right? So anyway, so, um, so and I say that to say this, see what got me caught up uh, in this, one of the things, ignorance first of all, <laughs> and just not knowing, but uh, in terms of the origin, but then over time, in terms of my environment and what I see, you know, I was always attracted to the hustlers. The hustlers had the money, the hustlers had the women, the hustlers had the gear, the hustlers had, the hustlers had everything I wanted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but when we got, when we dripped into that, you know, we got caught up because we broke all the rules, you know what I'm saying? And ended up, but in the main rule, uh, <laughs> how big he <is> said, <laughs> number four, and now we get high on your own supply, right? <laughs> so, we got caught up and got lost and got trapped and got, you know, you know, sinking, sinking, sinking. But anyway, so, but the other side of it, being attracted to the hustlers, you know what I'm saying? When I got a taste of that on the right side of life, you know what I mean? And I, I found out that I can go out here and flip dollars. That's a mentality, that's a hustle mentality that grew and grew and grew and grew and grew and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. However, now, you know, now you're in business. You're not a hustler, right? <laughs> and uh, bro, DeAndre like to say, I mean, you know, if one of the biggest differences in business is paperwork, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, documentation, paperwork, make sure everything is, is what it is and is what it's supposed to be. And, and if it's not, then look at it, analyze it, see what needs to be done to make it what it needs to be, right? All of that, right? And so, which reminds me of something, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to a business coach and, and the coach is right there on that and made a good point. Like, uh, you have to become a successful business person with the skill of, you know, baking, right? With the skill of producing music, with the skill of 
you know, all of the different, different whatever, whatever, whatever your skills are, whatever the skills are, okay, that you a lot, a lot of times it, it comes natural, especially the things you really love to do that you do well without almost effortlessly. You know what I'm saying? So those things uh, are skills that over time, if 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 they're being used, they're being nurtured, developed, and uh, you know what I mean. And they get to a point where hey, yeah, it's lovable. People uh, eat right out of your hands. I mean, for years, people eat right out of my hands, right? Because of that skill. Now, now the flip in the mentality is to become a successful business person. So now, what do what is it that business people do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the album Mr. Louis Farcon, he teaches us that he's forever a student. And as followers, then we must forever be students. You know what I'm saying? So as a student of business, now let's see where we uh where where we're placed <laughs> as a student of business. And it's about paperwork. Now if it ain't no if if it ain't on paper, it ain't business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about even uh, whatever it is. If you're making uh, contractual agreements, if it's not on paper, it's not business. You know, if you are projecting what you, uh, your long-term, short-term goals and month by month, day by day. I mean, really day by day, for real. Month by month, year by year. <laughs> in this world moment to moment <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> because everything's changing everything's changing so but if it's not documented you know what I'm saying it's not business really it's not you know what I'm saying because it's it's not mapped out to uh, I mean I could paint it here and that's beautiful it, you know that's that's necessary as well but, it, but I gotta take what's here and lay it out so we can walk it down you know what I'm saying so that's our word today, change, and that's change. Don't fight the change, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Just change. Uh, hey, break out. Uh, ace, 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 ace. <laughs> that's our word today for the Dutch Apocalypse. Uh, if you're in Chicago, man, come on over to the foodie spot, 7350 South Stony Island Avenue. Show us love, show us some support. Enjoy that. Peace.